Hello and welcome to a new video on Progressive Coder. The topic for today, how to scale your relational database. Yes, you can scale out relational databases, but isn't that considered cumbersome? Of course, it's much simpler to have a relational database running on a single machine. You scale it up as necessary by adding more computing resources. However, a non-distributed database will always be limited in storage and computing power. So how can you scale a relational database? Let's find out in this video. Sharding and replication are two valuable techniques to scale your database. Sharding involves partitioning data across multiple servers based on a specific key. Each server on the shard stores a portion of the data. Queries are routed to the appropriate server based on the key. Sharding allows you to horizontally scale your database also known as scaling out by adding more machines to an existing stack. Think of these machines as helpers that share the overall workload and allow for more traffic. Also, the shards are autonomous and don't share data or computing resources. This speeds up query times because the result set is smaller. Also, it increases overall reliability. Replication on the other hand involves creating multiple copies of the database with each copy running on a different server. Each copy of the database is identical and changes made to one copy are propagated to the others. The main benefit of replication is an increase in high availability and reliability. I explained this concept in a recent video, link to that video in the top right corner. However, replication also helps improve read scalability since read requests can be served by multiple servers. So how do you choose the right approach for your case? Here are a few tips that can help you out. Go for sharding if you have large scale applications with high data throughput. Think of social media platforms, online marketplaces and gaming apps. Since these apps need to handle high data volumes, sharding helps them distribute the load across multiple servers. Second, if you have a global application with multiple geographic regions, then sharding is the best option. In this scenario, you can shard the data based on geographic location. This ensures that users are always accessing data from servers that are geographically closer. In other words, you get improved performance and reduced latency. Go for replication if you have an application that requires high availability. Think of a mission critical application such as a system running a hospital or an airline. In such cases, replication can be a lifesaver. If one server goes down, the application can switch to another server with a copy of the data. This means less downtime and improved availability. Second, if you have an application with a read heavy workload, then also replication can be a good choice. Think of social media apps like Twitter and Discord. By creating multiple copies of data, the application can distribute read requests across multiple servers. This makes me think, are these two concepts mutually exclusive? Not really. You can go for both sharding and replication if you have a large scale global application that also needs to be highly available. Think of a ride sharing platform like Uber or a social media platform like Instagram. Platforms like these typically have millions of users all across the globe and they also need to be available and responsive all the time. In such cases, you can use sharding to distribute the data across multiple servers based on geographic location. However, you will also replicate each shard to ensure high availability. Second, if you have an application with varying read and write workloads, then also you can leverage both sharding and replication. Think of an e-commerce website having a large number of product listings that must be updated frequently. This leads to more writes to the database. However, most users only browse and search for products, which results in more read operations. In such a situation, you can leverage sharding to distribute the write operations across multiple servers. Then you can scale the read operations by replicating the shards. Over to you now. Do you use sharding or replication or any other technique to scale your databases? If yes, what technique do you prefer the most in a given situation? And that's it for now. If you like this video, consider subscribing and don't forget to press the bell icon. See you later.